Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to this week's readings with me. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. So let's get started to see what are the general readings for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Well, it starts with a wonderful energy. The sun is shining and so are you. You are in the spotlight, my dear Aquarius. Some of you are feeling really nice and warm. Maybe where you are, it's the sun is shining really, really bright. Not like here, very, very cold. <laughs> so um, I am seeing that things are looking up in the first few days of this week, my dear Aquarians, for you. I also see that um, some of the Aquarians uh, will get a wonderful recognition for the job well done. Uh, if you have been working on some projects, then at this point of time, you're going to be patted on your back that you have done a good job or you yourself are, you know, going to feel nice about your achievements at this point of time. Love uh, also looks up because love is sunny at this point of time. I am seeing that Aquarians are um, basking in the light of love with their beloved in the sunshine of love, I would say. And uh, some of the Aquarians also, I am seeing that um, work-wise also, uh, they are in the spotlight, as I said at the beginning. I am also seeing health is also looking quite good. At the same time, I would like to warn you, my dear Aquarians, uh, take care of your temper, okay? Because uh, what can happen is that uh, as energy is really, really, uh, you know, you have a lot of energy, my dear Aquarius, at the beginning of the week. So what can happen is that you might feel a bit, um, hmm, you might feel like, uh, you know, extra charged energy. And when, you know, like when you have excessive energies, like kids, you know, you see them. When they have too much of energies, they will go, they will fall out, they will make some kind of a mess. And then they will come crying to you because just because there is too much of energy. Uh, and then they don't know when, you know, when to stop. And because of that, they can become tired. So in your case also, you are going to be like those little toddlers with full of energy, uh, wanting to do lots of things. And you might not even realize at that time is that you're getting tired and you don't realize that so you become cranky all of a sudden or you can start feeling like saying something a bit, uh, you know, out of context, not out of context, but a bit harsh to somebody just because you are tired. So take care of that. And those of the Aquarians who suffer from blood pressures, you need to be extra careful in the first few days of the week. Take it slow, take it easy. All right, my dear Aquarians. And then we go to the midweek. And the midweek, as you see, some of the Aquarians can be feeling a bit lonely um, if they are living alone, of course. And uh, they are not happy with their situation. Otherwise, I'm seeing a kind of a feminine energy, my dear Aquarians, that you are dealing with. This energy is um, somebody maybe from your family. Uh, you know, in the relative circle, we have a lot of uh, different kind of people, right? So some of them can be those kind of jealous people uh, who are not happy to see one particular family in the relatives. Uh, doing well so these kind of people also exist so you might be facing something like this in the midweek there can be um, a news from your ex-partner also at this point of time for some Aquarians uh, that you have long lost forgotten makes an appearance uh, for some of the Aquarians they can be dealing with an uh, with the Scorpio energy also a feminine Scorpio energy in the midweek um, that can be a harsh exchange also that can take place. Uh, this is what I'm seeing, my dear Scorpio, not, not my dear Scorpios, my dear Aquarians uh, for you. Like, my God, I don't know what is it, but whenever I say Aquarius, I don't know why the Scorpio, there is a bond between you guys. I tell you the karmic bonds are there, yes. And then uh, there can be a colleague also who steps on your foot to climb the ladder. So take care of that kind of a colleague also who can backstab you and take care of your back at this point of time. There can be a backstab. Uh, this is what I see for some of the Aquarians. Okay, so you need to be careful. And also uh, it can also be that um, you are dealing with an energy, feminine energy who feels lonely, who is not feeling very fine. Uh, and, you know, when uh, somebody lives alone for long, uh, they can become a bit rigid, they can become a bit stubborn 
and then they don't want to mix they don't want to see somebody else's point of view and then you know they unwantingly they can become harsh with somebody and they don't even realize it so this kind of energy needs compassion rather than a scolding okay so this kind of energy you might be dealing with also it can be you're dealing with a single mother you are dealing with a, a, a granny who lives alone now and who has spent all her life you know doing for others so now she's tired so you know she can say some harsh words but don't take them too hard because you know uh, at the end of the day she's a granny and she has lived long and she has a lot of experience and maybe she's tired and she doesn't understand the way you speak so there can be some frictions like this also or it can be your own mother now who is a bit tired or who is going through some uh you know phases of hers also so who can be a bit harsh with you so just try to be sweet uh in the midweek and like that you can you know <laughs> get ahead with the week without uh, much uh damage uh, because then when we go to the end of the week once again you are bright again you are striking <laughs> in the eyes of people yes uh there is there is a hindi saying i don't know how many of you know that uh what uh main kisi ke dimag mein hu ya fir kisi ke dil mein like i can't go unnoticed either i'm in the uh, you know in the minds of some because i hit them in the mind otherwise i'm in the hearts of people is like love you know so there there is this uh, hindi thing and i just i really love that phrase because it's true that when people are successful because this is the energy of success okay and when people are successful or people are doing well in their lives uh, or in their you know whatever the sentimental life or professional life uh, then what happens is that some people uh, they will love them for that while some people they will not love them for that dislike them for that so so some people store you in their heads in their minds and some people store you in the heart so this is what is the energy for you at the end of the week my dear aquarius and um, you seem to be quite charismatic quite, quite charming and uh, also you know magnetic at this point of time i'm seeing at the end of the week you can be a bit aggressive also this is what i'm seeing um, because uh, you know you have a tremendous uh, power at this point of time uh, you have this charisma and if somebody says something you might retaliate uh, just you know bam like that you will just retaliate and you won't care also so go slow all right uh, at the end of the week and i'm also seeing that money wise things are looking up i'm seeing professionally also some good things are lined up for you and um, over here and i would almost tell you as i see that feminine energy midweek you know which who can create a problem uh, just be careful at the end of the week because i feel there can be uh, that you strike back at them uh, when it comes to professional things so i'm seeing that can happen so just go a bit you know be bit moderate i would say moderate uh, don't be very severe all right just be moderate and try to see if you can come to common grounds and you know get your things done you know better way uh, otherwise i'm seeing professionally things are really really looking up you're going to do very well most probably you're going to be busy this weekend because you will have a lot of invitations and yes you might be a bit over possessive regarding your loved ones also yeah don't hug them so tight that they get suffocated okay just leave them give them a breather like okay i can breathe <laughs> yeah or your loved one can be a bit jealous also at the end of the week they might try to uh, you know try to be like uh, you know you don't give me much attention or or the lichos comes out the french language comes in this is the problem when you speak many languages <laughs> you just you know mix it up i'm sorry for that so uh, what happens is that uh, your loved one can feel a bit like you know uh, like you're neglecting them that they they need more time of yours they need more attention from you uh, 
huh, my dear Aquarius? Yes, <laughs> he will be in your world and they will want to come into your world. But no, you don't see anybody in that world for that time. So take some time with your loved one at the end of this week. But all in all, it looks uh, really, really wonderful uh, to me. Okay, and take care that somebody from the past can make uh, an appearance this week and how you deal with it and what was your equation with them it all depends on how you are going to manage that right my dear Aquarius but otherwise looks pretty fine except for the midweek the rest is looking really really nice for me yeah except for that um, harsh exchange or aggressivity that can be you know uh, quite a lot inside of you this week so take care of that and uh, when I'm looking at all this, the word that comes uh, to me for you is right, right, W-R-I-T-E, right? <laughs> R-I-G-H-T, yeah, so, or W-R-I-G-H-T also is the name, right? <laughs> so, uh, this is about writing, okay, that word comes to my mind, and um, I feel like telling you is that uh, as Aquarians, it's sometimes difficult for you to um, express your emotions. They don't come out easily. Like, you can express them, but somehow, um, you know, uh, they can come out in the way that you later on might regret. Yes, uh, because you can be very straightforward when things have to be said. Or you just say it casually and you don't even realize that maybe somebody can be hurt also by the way you said it so whatever are your feelings my dear Aquarians you have to take a book and you have to start writing your feelings uh, make a diary you know and you start writing on a diary and that really helps okay to express your feelings what for example start it on a day-to-day -day basis like how was your day uh, what did you like about the day uh, and uh, what would you have liked uh, to change in that particular day if you had to live that day again what changes you would make in that day how would you approach that particular problem that particular person that you had a problem with how would you approach them if uh, you had to relive this day so start writing start writing um, your thoughts express yourselves uh, my dear Aquarians and when you start writing you know what is going to happen is that after some time you are going to start uh, feeling more confident about your emotions and the way you express them and most probably that expression part will start improving later on uh, whatever you feel blocked in whichever area of your life just take a diary and start a book or start writing regularly into that and then afterwards you will realize that um, I used to do that also some time ago and then after uh, when I was not going through a very good time of my life a very very difficult time it was uh, not very long ago actually it was in 2019 2020 it was a difficult time for me and um, it was difficult for me to express myself because I didn't want to hurt anyone around me or I didn't want to give my pain to anybody else so I took this uh, because that time that word right had come to my mind also so I just took the the book and I started writing on that you know and it really helped you know because what happens is that when we put it on paper we are actually letting the paper paper is coming from the mother earth right uh, it's coming sorry from the mother nature right paper is produced and so it was ab actually getting absorbed everything was getting absorbed on that paper and when it was coming out I was feeling lighter uh, about things I was feeling like Yes, a kind of a release was taking place. So release your emotions, release your feelings, express your feelings uh, in the form of writing. Most probably some of the Aquarians also have a path of becoming a writer, an author. Uh, if they write, most probably uh, some of you write very beautifully. So I would really like to encourage you, my dear Aquarians, uh, to write on a daily regular basis and you will see that once you develop that you know even when you're very angry you know just write it down 
just write it down afterwards if you want you can tear it off and throw it and make pieces like as if you know you're really angry and you're just tearing off the pieces and you just throw them or just burn them you know but just do that because this is how a lot of things inside of you will get channelized and a lot of blocks uh, here and there especially here and here for you will get de-blocked and then you will just feel good about things and you will see if you continue this in few months I can bet on it what you will uh, see in yourself if you want to change something also wonderful wonderful changes will take place and wonderful manifestations in your life will take place because you will also write what you want from your life here my dear Aquarius so thank you very much please do write okay <laughs> so thank you very much for listening please do like share and comment and I shall see you next week until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye